Hey, this is Mike with 5 Minute Guide. This video is going to show you how you can use Pixie Set when your photographer sends you a link to get your photos. So um, the first thing that you'll need to remember is most of these galleries have an expiration date. Uh, most photographers have a space limit on the website and so the uh, galleries will only be available for a limited amount of time. Make sure you know when your expiration date is and make sure you get your photos down before the gallery expires. Um, now. Um, with that being said, there's a good chance that you're going to need a password to access your gallery. That should be in the email from your photographer. Uh, this password here is cheese. So when you get in, you'll see uh, you know, the cover photo, and then you should be able to scroll down and access the gallery. Um, here in the gallery, you can favorite photos, you can share links to the photos on social media, um, and you can also purchase uh, specialized prints of these photos. So that's all pretty amazing, that in and of itself. You can also download the entire gallery or just your favorites from the gallery. Um, so what we're going to do is take a look at how you can create a list of favorites and then uh, do the download and I'll show you how that works. So uh, when you mouse over any of these thumbnails here, you'll see that these three little options pop up in the bottom. There's a heart that's for favoriting, a grocery cart that is for purchasing different prints, and the arrow that actually when you mouse over expands to be uh, options to share it on social networks. So um, go ahead and click on the heart and then it'll ask you for your email address and this is how it's going to keep track of which favorites are yours. So then you'll save that and then uh, you'll see that I've actually favorited a couple of other photos already with that same email address. So from here we can click on the download button up in the right hand corner. We'll enter the email address again that you want the download link to go to and a four digit pin, 2377 in this case, and hit enter. So then you can choose um, if there's different uh, groupings that your photographer has set up. Uh, there's you know highlights that I set up in this gallery or uh, the photos that you favorited. You can also choose if you want the web size or the high resolution, that's the, the largest you can get them. Uh, then you click start download. You'll get this spinning thing going on for a little while and then you'll get an email with a link to download the photos. It's really important that you keep your eye out for that email. If you don't see it in half hour, hour, um, then you'll want to check your spam mail or your junk mail folders. Make sure that you get that link. If it doesn't show up within a half hour, hour, you can't find it in any of your folders, go back in here and try the process again because maybe it didn't, it didn't work. All right, so uh, you'll see that I've actually uh, already got a download link here available. Uh, if you wait long enough, you'll get that. Uh, so either click the link in your email or wait here and then click download now. I am on a Mac, so it's going to download. I'm just going to click on the uh, file itself and it will unzip because Macs are really nice like that. Uh, we'll take a look at how this works on a PC in a minute. So here it is right in my downloads folder because I clicked on it, it, it unzipped itself and uh, here are my my three photos that I decided to download. All right, so to do the same thing on a PC. All right, so to get to these files on your Windows computer, uh, locate the downloaded zip file either in your downloads folder or wherever you put it and uh, double click on that. You should be able to get in and uh, access the folder with the label of, of favorites or whatever your download was. Um, Windows documentation says that you should be able to just click and drag this right over to a new folder and that should extract it for us. So here's favorites. Here are our files. They are full size. You will be able to access these files within the zipped folder, but they, they'll be compressed. So make sure you drag them out and put them somewhere else. Uh, that is one of the quicker ways to get these out. So now the only thing left is uh, if you want to order special prints, you can mouse over the photo that you want, click on that shopping cart, and then use the plus and minus to determine how many quantities of each kind of photo you want. Um, and you know, even if you want a two foot by three foot metal print of something, in fact, it's probably a good idea to get six or seven of those. And then you just hit view cart and you can check out just like you would any other uh, online shopping cart. So that's, uh, that's it. It's pretty simple and straightforward, but it can be a little daunting when you first look at it. So uh, I hope this has been helpful for you. If you've got any questions, please leave me a comment and I will answer them the best that I can. And I will see you next time.